Yeah, Tony, uh, not, I'm uh, playing a little bit hurt here today and not 100%. Uh, I've already got a diagnosis from the doctor. I did one of those uh, video calls. Turns out I got pennant fever, brother. Oh, yeah, pennant fever. Yeah, the Padres got past the Dodgers in good form there. Clutch hitting the bottom of the eighth, 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 seventh, eighth inning, seventh inning. They push across the five runs on the Dodgers bullpen. They move on to place the Phillies. Interesting, the six versus the five in the NL, and that's the way it is. You got quality there from top to bottom. So uh, congrats to the Padres. We'll see how far they go. It's going to be a tough climb now. You got the Phillies, and you got the winner of well, we'll see who, what happens here in the AL. Which again, you don't gonna, you got you don't have to beat every team, just the team that's in front of you. Going to have to change the format. I mean, we can't have all these great teams. Uh, ducking out and having these uh, you know small markets in there ruining the ratings so they'll find a way to get the uh, big teams back in there next year I'm well no they you know what no, it, it lined up for the big teams to win i'm sorry they have no excuses you know the way this formed out, out perfect for the dodgers they, they they could line up their one and two starter against the padres back end of their starting rotations if you win the division you and, and you're in the top two seats you got a great great format into the into the best of five and the dodgers they just didn't get the clutch hitting yeah, you know, Bueller was out and Gonzalez wasn't. Again, they lost their top two starters. I mean, I think that's what's going to bring Roberts back, obviously, is the fact that they didn't have Bueller, they didn't have Gonzalez in there. And it's like losing uh, like losing Musgrove and, um, and Darvish, right? That's kind of the impact it had. But the Dodgers do have depth in the position. It wasn't the starting pitching that got to him. It was really the hitting that, that got in the slump. And I'm going to say this. It wasn't, the, it wasn't the hitting form against the Padres. The bad hitting began in that Colorado series. A lot of momentum down here, a lot of momentum, a lot of excitement. And, uh, yeah, just uh, that's what happens. Just caught the team at, the, at that particular time. So it's what, makes, uh, it's what makes sports great. Yeah, when you score one run against the, in the Rockies <laughs> in that six-game series, you, you produce horrible offensive results. Something's got to be – something's got to – got to call some alarm to that. that. That was a horrible series to close it out and carry it over to the Padres. Series. But anyway, let's turn the page here. There's still a lot more work to do here for the Padres. We'll, we'll, be, we'll start with game one tomorrow. There'll be a lot of excitement there. And we will start – we'll go to the NHL as we have the – boy, look at these numbers. Look at these poor Coyotes. <laughs> We've got the Maple Leafs here hosting the Coyotes. Maple Leafs minus $5, 500 I'm giving the Coyotes a little respect because I'm seeing higher than that someplace. But anyway, Coyotes plus 400 total sits here at 7. Yeah, I'll take the Maple Leafs. Back to you, Tony. <laughs> no, uh, no, in fact, no, don't take the Maple Leafs maybe. I mean, if you're looking for a spot for a dog, I mean, I could give you it here. I mean, this is Arizona's uh, – Sweet spot right here, but I'm going to look for the, the total here because maybe Arizona will not uh, win this game at such uh, preposterous odds, Tony. But they have won six out of the last seven meetings in Toronto for some reason. Now, a lot of people, Minnie and I talked about on the show today was, you know, uh, is it just an anomaly? Why does that happen? But usually uh, when a team goes in and has success, it's because of the routine that the franchise goes through uh, that puts them in the best position. Usually you end up playing in the same type of road trips uh, when you go on that trip, the same type of travel, accommodations, things like that. And it just sets up that this is your best situation. Now, Arizona's on the third game of a six-game road trip. They don't seem to be very well positioned here uh, to compete but you know what every time against this team they seem to do well uh, against Toronto so maybe they will find a spot to compete here I mean they've lost their two games so far by uh, six to two and six to three sounds like some bad tennis matches uh, actually but Toronto they'll have their third string goalie in there tonight with Colgren uh, they put their second man uh, I think, believe on the injured list or have, have shelved him temporarily. So they've called up Cogren. Uh The three games so far for Toronto have gone uh, either one and two to the under or oh, two and one to the under thus far, depending on what numbers you got. Uh, the line is at seven, you know, uh, whenever their two of their three games have been at seven so far, and neither of those two did go over. So. I like the fact four, four out of every five tickets on the over, 90% of the money's on the over. I'm going to come in on the under here. Five of the last six meetings have gone under this number, as well as eight of the last ten meetings between the two teams. Now, they only meet twice a year, so that's spanned over several seasons now. But uh, talk about uh, the way that uh, these two teams play. It'll probably 
probably be a slow starting game for both teams, uh, given the way the uh, teams have started so far in the first period. So you already could have, you don't know if teams are going to start slow or fast, but if you go on the way it's going, it would be uh, slow early and then have the uh, sweat, if you will, if it gets to that point. I'm going to look to go under last year. Arizona won 2-1 uh, in the matchup. So uh, I think it will go under, Tony. The way I see Arizona's got to completely focus on the defensive end and trying to clean this up after giving up six goals in each of the first two games. Easier said than done, but this is the spot. And you don't expect Arizona, if they're going to continue the success that they've had against Toronto for the last, oh, half a dozen years, uh, it'll be because they're able to limit Toronto and stay in the game. You don't think a team like Arizona is going to go out there and uh, outscore the Maple Leafs, you know, uh, six to five or something like that. So usually in that case, you think of overlooking a team. And this is easily the team that you would end up overlooking uh, the Arizona Coyotes, which are expected to be one of the worst teams in the league, as evidenced by the odds today, uh, you know, plus 400 or more uh, today. So that's what I'm looking at, Tony. Like I said, 2, 8, and 1 to the under the last 11 meetings, 2, 6, and 1 to the under uh, here in Toronto in the last nine meetings. So uh, I'm going to look forward to go under the big number. You know, you're never going to have really uh, seven and a half, very, very rare. So I've got to get eight goals to beat me. Now, granted, they've gone eight and nine in the Arizona game so far, but if you're Arizona, that's the area you're going to look to shore it up. Let's try to play a little bit of defense, give us a chance to stay in the game. They were in that uh, Boston game at 3-3 three to three before it got away from them, but, uh, well, I don't know about getting away before the eventuality of the uh, winner came through. So I'll take the under seven here, and if Toronto does stomp them, maybe it'll be, you know, something close to a shutout or something like that. Uh, but I, I don't know, kind of like Arizona too, especially at that price. And you could even get, uh, you know, plus two and a half at uh, a decent price here. So, <laughs> yeah, Steve right. St St McAllister's like, it, like yeah. he he's with you there. He likes the the, the Steve McAllister's with you there. He likes the Coyotes plus four hundred <laughs> as well. There anyway. Uh, yeah, you know, Arizona the worst, probably the worst run franchise. Uh, they 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 surpassed the Clippers of those uh, nine eighties and nineties. That's <laughs> the worst worst franchise. Yeah, but our, uh, Bizarre situation with the the arena that they have going right Arizona now. They're State. playing basically in the, in the yeah in the college arena. You know, sitting five thousand people. But uh, you know, if they could find a way, it's kind of funny if you could find a way to turn around or at least generate some momentum. You actually could have a rocking house. Uh, pardon me, Tony. Like I said, a little under the weather. I was kidding, not kidding you there. A little bit under the weather, but uh, yeah. So uh, the way I see it, uh, they could you know, turn that home ice into something eventually when they return back home. But right now, third game of a six-game road trip, uh, league did them no favors to start the season for sure. Yeah, they did not no favor whatsoever. Uh, he's Timmy the Tools with you there. He likes it 4-1 Toronto. You love that score. And, of course, uh, you know, the, they are coming off the day off. And, after, again, you give up 53 shots against Pittsburgh. You give up 42 against Boston. Uh, of course, uh, you have that day off here, so you would think, you would hope the focus here is definitely on the defense. Yeah, Tony, even in the uh, two to one game last year that they won against uh, Toronto, they were outshot, I believe, it might be like 46 to 18 or something like that. So we know the way this game's going to go. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, trying to play these numbers a little bit and finding the right spot when I've got the public uh, basically all over the over and, you know, a lot of the uh, public handicappers as well going over that's when you're going to find me on the other side uh, of the of the of the total here the sharps appear to be split so that's fine by me all right there we go with ramon in this one he's got it uh coyotes maple Leafs under total of seven uh this one will have a start time here of 7 p.m eastern time nhl center ice all right, Ramon, let's take a look over at Tony'sPicks.com here for tonight's action. Uh, showing great results over the past seven days. All sports combined, 1,006 units of profit. These numbers are all guaranteed over at Ramon's Handicapper page. If you visit Tony'sPicks.com, that's the way you'll land on. When you click the All Cappers tab and go to his um, profile page, you'll see it there. Those numbers can be verified. 1,006 units 
the past seven days. All right, Ramon, here we go. We got the uh, Monday night a football game night with the Chargers and Broncos. We do have a nine-game card here from the NHL. The MLS playoffs are in action again as well. I'll bring up Ramon because he does look at peripheral sports and uh, as well as the baseball game. Uh, I can't put baseball to bed yet. We still have the, 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 the uh, Yankees and Guardians here going off in game five. What do you have going on over at Tony's Picks? No, and it was lit here. It was lit here uh, on Saturday night, Tony, no doubt about it. The gas lamp was popping uh, with excitement. So I'll be in action in the Major League Baseball game tonight. Cleveland and the Yankees got my best bet up there. Pick that one up, up over at Tony'sPicks.com. I'm involved in the football game tonight. Pick up my best bet for Monday Night Football over at Tony'sPicks.com. And, yes, uh, coming off a win also in Major League Soccer for yesterday. So I've got a best bet also in tonight's action and a three pack in the nhl tonight pick that one up for 30 dollars over at tonyspicks.com that's right guys you got to board it with the remote scott over at tonyspicks.com a thousand and six units of profit over the last seven days that is all documented over the site look at all the wins that he weaves a really really great handicapper you can see the numbers that he produces here winning results on all the major sports so get on board here with ramon in action here with the mls playoffs for tonight's tonight's playoff action so get on board there uh with the best bet as well from the monday night football game tonight between the broncos and the Chargers, so that is up there right now. Of course, all profit guarantee must turn a profit or the amount you purchase is credit back into your account for side credits. That's credit guarantee. The ML, MLB ADL uh, Game 5 play tonight is up there as well. A three-pack here from NHL as well. So lots of individual plays up there for, from um, Ramon as well as a three-pack here on the ice. But again, probably your best value right now is looking at a long-term pass with Ramon where he's been on absolute fire. You may consider that one-month all-sports pass. You'll get all of Ramon's plays here for the one month and of course that will include all of Ramon's baseball for the remainder of the Major League Baseball season as well as uh, his uh, NFL, his college football, as well as peripheral sports. He's in action a lot of times in soccer, if it's tennis, you, you name it, MMA at times. So guys, check it on board there. College football, the NFL, NHL, of course NBA starts tomorrow. This is the best time to get the all sports passes guys. So this is the time to do it. So get on board here with all these sports overlapping. You see the results from Rome with all the major sports showing great results there. So get on board. And of course, just, uh, we've showed you how to get, we showed you, we're showing you his page when you land there and how to find the packages. And of course you can access the page simply by clicking the link in our description, click the all cappers tab. You find Ramon, when you click it, you'll land right here on the handicapper, on his handicapper profile page. And that's where you can purchase his picks, everything he has for sale. Let's look at recent results as well. Uh, from Ramon Scott over at Tony's Fix. And don't forget the promo code. We'll save you some money. When you use that promo code Tony T at checkout, you can save 20% off. You can access Ramon's page by clicking the link over in the description, clicking the all cappers tab and getting signed up. All right, Ramon, uh, we know we put together a Twitter account for you over at Twitter uh, as well. And uh, I know I know you've got uh, your Twitter account rolling here. And, um, what you, and of course, the morning steam that runs up uh, Saturday through Thursday at uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time. Yeah, Tony, sorry, fighting through this uh, segment a little bit. But, yeah, over at Twitter tonight, I have a pick for you in Major League Soccer playoff action. So I've got a premium pick, but I also have a free pick over there at uh, Tony's Picks Ramon on Twitter. And, uh, yeah, Minnie and I will be back tomorrow breaking down those first two NBA games. That's my top sport here at Tony'sPicks.com. See if I can live up to those uh, expectations. I guess I would, considering all these other success in the major sports as well. So just looking forward to get that NBA season together. We'll have stuff to cover every day now, man, Tony, with hockey and – oh, pardon me, brother. Hockey and basketball and uh, football every day. Really going to be cooking here uh, in the major leagues as long as I can make it through the, the week, Tony. <laughs> That's right. Get, get through the week. with got the little sniffles there going on. And cold, oh, rainy weather out there. Rainy weather out here in Southern California over the weekend, right? It's been kind of crazy with the rain. But anyway, guys, check out Ramon over there at TonySpeaks.com over on his uh, handicapper page. Get signed up to his passes as well as check out the morning steam uh, uh, Saturday through Thursday here at um, – 9 a.m. each time, so check them out there over on the site. And, of course, uh, make sure as well as uh, check out the NHL. Some people are asking about the NHL games. They did the NHL a, right, a, a show today. Check it out. It was part of their the segment on their show. Check it out. All the NHL previewed with picks there on the morning scene. Go check the archive out right now. All right, Ramon, I'll let you go, man. Keep it up. Yeah, appreciate you, brother. Thanks a lot. You got it. Ramon Scott here on uh, Game Day Picks. All right, guys.